Hello friends, so this soap is freshly made and it's a special batch that I have made to help bring awareness to a couple of disorders. A subscriber contacted me a while back and asked if I would be willing to put this design out there in a soap just to help bring awareness to these conditions. And the first one is Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. I hope I'm saying that right, I'm sorry if I'm not. And this is a disorder that affects the connective tissue, so like joint hypermobility, skin hyperextensibility, that's quite the word, and tissue fragility. Now they are represented by the zebra. So typically black and white, but for this design we went with blue and white, and let me tell you where the blue one comes in. So occipital neuralgia is the other condition we want to bring awareness to. And it is a condition in which the nerves that run from the top of the spinal cord up through the scalp, those are called the occipital, occipital nerves, are inflamed or injured. And their ribbon is kind of a blue, dark blue. I probably could have gone a little darker blue, but that my colors did not play well with me as much as I had hoped today, but I think it still looks great. So what we did was we combined the zebra, replaced the black, with the blue for the occipital neuralgia and came up with this design. So I hope that you will take some time to look up those conditions, maybe research them and see if there's anything that you can do to help somebody who might have these. Alright, if you're interested, just keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to add in the light solution. Tap the air out of my stick blender shaft. Now I'm going to add in the coconut milk. I think I'll take this stick blender out. I have a little bit more room to operate. Yes, this is my coconut milk. My fragrance today is Apple Mango Tango Type and it smells so good. It is a fruity, kind of a laundry type scent, but it's um, quite fruity. I've reduced it so it'll be a little bit softer. Okay, now it's time to split this batch. I have two colors. Looking good. I will be doing an alternate pouring technique so I definitely want both in a container with a spout perfect into this container I'm going to put in a white I'm going to use titanium dioxide to color it white. Give that a stick blend and see if it the color we want. <coughs> I can still hear the air. Tap a little bit more. <coughs> yes, I think that will do.
need to stir that all up. Sometimes I just get the color in and blend in and then I can just mix in the rest. Usually it's just on the edges. Get this stick blender closer to me. It's kind of hanging out a ways away. Using some Tidal Wave Blue Mica from Nurture Soap. blender because we don't want to incorporate all those bubbles into the soap because those will be um, in the finished product maybe not horribly but they will incorporate in if you're not cautious I'm gonna add some more blue into this we're gonna get how mixed in here a little bit I want this to be a little bit darker That looks good. The white's thickening up just a bit. It's a little bit creamy colored right now, but that's all right. It'll lighten up a bit when it uh, solidifies after it um, saponifies. My base oils tend to go to the yellow. It's time to pour. So I'm just going to put a thin layer right down the middle. I'm going to try to have it centered, but it may not always be exactly centered, but it'll be fine. And I found that if it's just a little bit thicker, that it is a better design. If it's crooked, I don't care either. I think it looks great when it's a little bit tilted. So we're just gonna roll with it and see how it does. ahead and sprinkle this with some silver rainbow glitter. I'm not going to do both. I'm going to leave one without glitter. That's so pretty. I just love how this glitter looks. And these little sprayers are so nice. They open up to the side. 
which could be a little, whoa, that was a little too much. Be a little confusing, but that's actually, once you figure that out, they work a lot better. So there we have it. We have two loaves to join another two loaves of our special awareness soap. I'll see you back for the cat. It's time to unmold this soap. I'm going to slide out the bottom piece here. And then it just plops down. Easy peasy. I need to slide off the liner, silicone liner. Mm, it looks super nice and smooth. That one aside, I have a different mold here. This is a handmade mold. Of course they all are, but you know, this is we didn't buy this one. So this one I just slide out like so. And just hinge it back together. And again with the silicone liner. It makes a super shiny base and sides with this silicone liner from Brambleberry. Alright, I'm going to cut the one with the glitter on the top first. So I'm going to take a little end piece off. The ends tend to be a little bit more plain. So I like to cut them off and use those as samples. That looks great. Really happy with how that design turned out. So I would say this is an acceptable blue zebra. Looks super. This has been such a fun project to take on. The uh, other batches, I have two other batches here that were made prior. They are slightly different color of blue because I ran out of the color that I had worked with for these initial ones and I'm loving this blue as well. Looks great. It's just a very light scent. It's not intended to be strong by any means. So it's just a nice, lovely, apple-y, fresh scent. And I think everyone will really like it. I think I will switch over to this loaf so we can see if there's any difference inside of it. Now this one a little bit on the outside just from a little different sized mold. I'll set that one aside. Oh, this one looks great too. It's just such a fun look. That's a cool bar. Alright, so I'm going to keep cutting these. And I hope you guys will do a little bit of research on these two conditions. And these soaps will be for sale in approximately four weeks or so have to pay attention to um, my social media sites because that's where I stay updated on when soaps go for sale. Cold processed soaps need to cure for four to six weeks. 
It evaporates the water out, creates a harder, longer lasting soap bar. It gets gentler the older it gets. It's like ages well like a fine wine. So these are going to go on to the curing rack. I expect they'll be listed in mid-October is when um, I am tentatively planning my next release. Alright guys, I'm going to keep cutting these and I'll talk to you later.